Good evening. You're watching From the Vale, where it's finished here at Groves in the Vale, Wildstone 1, Woking 2. It was certainly a game of two halves, and the Stones certainly looked as if they could snatch an equaliser at the death, but it wasn't to be. And uh, shortly after kickoff, I caught up with manager Stuart Maynard, and here's what he had to say. Stuart, game of two halves there, first half. I think uh, it's fair to say that Woking dominated possession and, and obviously got their two goals. But second half, came out of the blocks and looked the stronger side. It's frustrating in the first half because their two goals come from Max Kreshmar running into the box. It's something that we'd worked on in the week and they're the finer details at this level. If you switch off at this in this league, you get punished and that's what happened. Uh, so it is frustrating because I thought we actually had the best chance of the game with Denham Lewis. We had a long throw comes in the box, Josh sets him and he's just got to pass it in the net. and um, was unlucky and I think that gets, would have got us back in the game. I think the two goal lead at half time, we, need, we needed to score a little bit earlier in the second half. But overall, I'm pleased with the performance. I said to the lads at half time, that's not us. All pre-season, we've moved the ball well, we've worked teams into the ground and we look we looked nervous. It's, it's fans back, whether it was that, we've got a young team, but we take the positives from the second half. I think uh, the team grew into the game around about 40 minutes. It looked as if perhaps might be able to nick a goal just before half-time. Is that the sort of encouraging signs you had going into half-time? Because we did have a bit of possession and some chances. Yeah, definitely. We knew once we got in at half-time and we could speak to them tactically and tweak a few little things on how to get out and how to overload them and cross the ball a little bit more. We said to them in the, in the in, for the second half, cross the ball a bit more, ask questions of them, and then when the ball comes back out, then we can play and overload them. Uh, so, look, there's loads of positives. Great header from Josh. Uh, Nick at the back was outstanding. Cookie was outstanding today. There was, there was a lot of good performances. Uh, the lads have just got to believe in the process and, and stick to it. Don't be nervous. Play the way we play. You, you touch on Josh there, obviously. Number nine on his back, he's, he's here to, to score the goals. How pleasing is it for you that he's come in got a goal on his on his debut in front of the fans that's just got that monkey off the back straight away oh it's massive for him but like i said earlier in pre-season i think it's at colchester to you dan what, what people don't appreciate is what he does off the ball as well he's in both boxes he's headed a couple away early on in the first half from their corners and he gets hold of us he gets us up the pitch his work ethic's outstanding and i'm delighted for him to get his goal because forwards at the end of the day are judged on goals and uh, i'm glad that he scored and uh, half-time saw a substitution with, with Matt coming off and, and Alex come on. Is that, was that a tactical one or was that a forced change? No, it was just tactically. We just knew that if we sat two, we could draw them out onto us and then we could get the ball wide quickly. So like I said to you, we just wanted to get in at half-time tactically and just tweak it slowly. Nothing to do with, with Buse's performance. I thought we worked really hard in the first half. It's just tactical and that's what the squad's for. A player making his debut today was Josh Umara and he certainly made his mark with his debut goal. And here's his thoughts at full time. Josh, uh, not the result that everyone wanted, but a good second half performance nevertheless and a, and a goal for you on your debut. Sum up the emotions after the game. Um, obviously, it's a bit frustrating, obviously, having to perform like that in the second half. Um, it just shows the quality that we've got in the side, how good we are as a team when we get the ball moving. Like we create loads of chances and we literally camped them in their own half for the last 45 minutes. And... Um, um, although it's always good to get a goal, um, of course you want to win games as well as get goals for the team. So it's quite frustrating, but we, we learn, we learn. On to the next game. Number of players making their debut uh, this afternoon, first time in front of a crowd for, for quite some time. Is it fair to say that uh, perhaps it was slow to get going in that first half? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what it was. I don't know if it was, if I can put it down to nerves. Um, obviously, it's, it's a fairly new group, new faces in the group, including myself. Um, um, but I think once we settled down and we got the ball moving, like, we was all over them and um, they just couldn't handle us. Like you say, it's, um, everyone wants to win games. Um, what, what's the mood in the dressing room after after that? Is everyone kind of disappointed but almost looking forward to next week in the yeah, sense yeah, that yeah. you can, you can yeah. compete? Yeah, everyone's looking forward to next week. I mean, it's the first game. It's not like... It's one of the last games of the season. It's the first game. The season's still young. Um, people lose games and then end up winning leagues and getting into playoffs positions. So the most important thing is that we just keep our head high and um, we look forward to next week. Two games back to back. And that's all we've got time for for this edition of From the Vale. Join us again on Bank Holiday Monday when we host South End here. But for now, goodbye. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And also make sure to turn on the notifications. Come, Come on, Will Stone! Stone.